less than two and a half hours left. I have about one and a half hours left, so that's pretty good. Um, but today, I want to talk about a, a pretty interesting theory that I have. I want to talk about the growing trend of sport SUVs. And I mean the high-end sport SUVs, like the Porsche, the Maserati, and the Mercedes AMG. Now, these SUVs are probably one of the best cars you can buy today. And uh, here's why. And the interesting theory is that these sport SUVs could be a better buy than your street supercar. So let's talk about price. The least expensive of these three SUVs is the Maserati Levante S. Now to get the most options on the Maserati Levante S, it's about $107,000. Now this gets you fully equipped, the biggest engine, the most horsepower, gets you everything you can for $107,000. The next most expensive on this list, at a top end price of $130,000, is the AMG GLE 63. Now, you've probably seen Salamandrin has the black AMG GLE 63, and it is amazing. And he raves and raves about the car and how, uh, how good it sounds and just how great of a car it is. The most expensive out of these three cars is the Porsche Cayenne Turbo S at $170,000. Now this is the, uh, this is about the top end Cayenne Turbo S that you can get. Now if you're looking to get a new Ferrari or a new Lamborghini today, you're looking at a won't even be as practical as, let's say, the Levante S or the GLE 63. But the Lamborghini, new Lamborghini and the new Ferrari are both two-seater supercars, and the SUVs can seat four or five people. Now, these are practical cars to get your whole family around town easier. The reason most people get supercars today is for two reasons. One, is to just look like a baller, and two, to go really fast. High-end sport SUVs of today have much more horsepower than you think they'd have. The top of the line AMG GLE 63 has 577 horsepower. That is almost as much as a 911 Turbo S. That is insane. You'd be able to walk over many sports cars on the road. Now even with the Cayenne Turbo S at a maximum of 570 horsepower and the and the Maserati Levante S at a maximum of 425 horsepower, you'd still be out you'd still be able to go really fast on normal roads and have a great time with your whole family, might I add. Next reason to get a high-end sports SUV is the interior. They are so comfortable and the interior looks absolutely amazing. Now, take the Maserati Levante S for example. That red interior is exquisite. It is insane and I bet it is so comfortable to sit in. And it is comfortable in every single seat too. It's not some cramped back seat like a GTR. So while you're driving down the road with your whole family, you can go really fast, you have a really cool looking car, and you would be comfortable on the inside also. I'm not saying the sports SUV will completely replace your needs as a car person, but it will definitely save you some money on the end of practicality. Now here is what I would personally do if I had a few hundred thousand dollars to spend on my cars. Now let's say you have $300,000. You can go a couple of routes with this. Now, as a disclosure, this is my opinion, and I'm just thinking that it would be a cool idea. Now, I'm not saying that everyone should sell their Lamborghini Hurricane and go out and buy a Maserati Levante S right now, but I'm just saying, if you're a family person, it would be a lot more practical to... Now, I'm not... Now, I'm just saying, as a family person, it would be a lot more practical to have a nice sports SUV to hoon around town with, with your family and then buy a really cool race car. Now, the race car can be street legal, 
or not street legal, but it would make you look baller and you'd go really fast. Let's think of a hypothetical scenario here. Let's say you go out and buy a car for about eighty to a hundred thousand dollars. Let's say you put another hundred thousand dollars in it, making it a super fast, track ready race car. This car that you make will be much faster around the track than any stock supercar, more than likely. If you use if you do your mods correctly, it'll be much faster than a stock supercar around the track. As I say again, this is just my opinion. I would buy I would buy the super nice sports SUV and then build my own race car that I know will be faster around the track and will also look really cool too. For and so I'd have two really nice cars for the same amount of money as one high-end supercar. If I could have every genre of car possible, I would. I'd have a sports SUV, I'd have an only track race car, I'd have a street supercar, I'd have everything. Uh, I just love cars in general. So that's just my opinion. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.